Donald Trump continues to spend more time in court than on the election trail and it is costing him millions and millions of dollars. Joining me live is Louis DiCipio, Professor of Political Science at the University of California. Welcome, Professor. And uh, you can see he's getting frustrated by all of this. He is indeed. He's not used to situations where he's not in control. And right now he has to listen to a judge and he, his fate is in the hands of uh, 12 citizens. Uh, that does not make him very happy. You are a professor of political science. What do you make of it all? I think that um, President Trump uh, is finally, after many years, actually facing a jury of his peers. Uh, I think the prosecution is laying out a, a reasonable case. Uh, it'll be up to the jurors to decide whether it uh, uh, violates New York state law. Um, the more salacious parts of the trial are coming, um, so that will get popular attention and popular attention in a way that former President Trump uh, really doesn't like. Uh, he may also face some sanctions for violating the gag order, uh, where he's uh, allegedly um, threatening witnesses. Not, not a good week um, in the New York trial. And then, of course, uh, his case was before the Supreme Court as well. Uh, which is an unusual situation. Uh, there, he probably got a little bit more of a victory in that it's clear that some members of the court uh, will want to collect or want the district court to collect a little bit more evidence about uh, what is a personal act of a sitting president versus an official act of a sitting president. Yeah, the Supreme Court hearing those first arguments in Donald Trump's immunity case, and uh, they are divided. There's little question. Uh, what do you think uh, the impact will be going forward from what we're seeing now? I know that there's been sugar hits along the way with every mention of a court case and all those felony charges. Well, I think President Trump probably got what he wanted out of the Supreme Court, even though it hasn't ruled yet and may not for another couple of months, in that it will further delay that trial in the District of Columbia, which was about the January 6th uh, insurrection and various efforts to change the outcomes of the election. Um, the delay means that that trial will not happen until after the election, if it happens at all, and that's a victory for former President Trump. Well, what about what's happening in New York? How, what what impact do you think that'll happen? New York's a different story. That will go to the jury probably in somewhere about four to five weeks. And, you know, obviously juries rule when juries rule. Um, there, uh, the possibility of a conviction is high. Now, certainly former President Trump would appeal that. Uh, but we don't know how the American public would respond to uh, the conviction, um, uh, in this case at the state level, of a former president. There is some evidence from the polling that some subset of independent voters and Republican voters uh, would change their votes based on a, uh, a negative uh, or a, a guilty verdict in this case.